Hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. I hope you had a wonderful day or night. Welcome to my channel. I'm Deluxe. All right, got something in new, new today. Crashbox Customs. Look him up. Really good dude. Chris, uh, Christopher Pinkerton, if you're nasty. Um, really good dude. He's an RLC. Uh, he's, uh, they, he sells Mesco stuff. And uh, so, yeah, I picked this thing up. I'm a big horror fan. The slasher 80s films, you know, all that good stuff. And I've been on the, I guess you don't want to say phase life uh, for horror films and stuff. So I got a bunch of NECA stuff. And this is going to be my first Mesco that I'm going to dabble into. So, yeah, this is the Friday 13th Part 3, Jason Voorhees. Uh, let me take this out real quick. I haven't even took out the thing yet. Alrighty. That. Put that over there. So, yeah, this is my first Mesco. This is a 112th scale. So, it's got that right there. Pretty cool. Right there. On the back, see all that stuff. He's got all the accessories. Okay. Nice little sleeve right there. Okay. Alrighty. Nice. Pretty nice. Alright, here he is. Man, you can smell that new smell, new uh, plastic thing right there. So there he is. And that. Got the one fall right there, and then that right there. Okay. Let's open them up. Yeah, there you go. <coughs> Ooh, a little strong. <laughs> so it's a nice little box. I like it. So it's a little welcome to the. Mesco thing, look pretty cool. So it is pretty, it is packaged pretty neat, man. I like that. All right, well, I'm gonna finish taking this guy out. I'll be right back and I'll tell you what I think of it. All right, got him out of his package and everything, and here he is. That part's all to say is he's really tiny. Jeebus. But there he is. Uh, on the back and other side. All right, take a look at his mask. Looks really cool. I like that mask. Some nice red paint on that there. Very good. And he's got some nice uh, brown right here on the, for the straps and everything. And nice gold buttons or something whatever not buttons but studs on there and take off the mask and there it is his brother and sister had a baby face right there like Arr! so really nice man nice details you got the lazy force Whitaker eye and all that good stuff so not bad not bad at all look up Look down, very nice. Go side to side. It's got a big old neck, like it took steroids in the neck a couple times, like that. And you can get the er, you know, kind of look and everything. So, nice range of that. Move on down. Arms go up to there. Very nice. Oh, well, not all the way around because you got clothes on there. So, I'm used to the neck of stuff, and you know, you can go all the way around. You can't go all the way around there. So, but nice, uh, Double jointed uh, elbow, very nice. Got a good, decent range and everything. The hand go in and out. That's pretty good. Very nice. Kind of wish it was more weathered. I wish he had blood on his clothes too. That would have been really cool. He's just so clean. <laughs> like, you know, it's Jason. He's been out in the woods and killing people. Uh, he's got a little white feeder on down there and everything. So, kind of wish. Um, yeah, you have blood on there. He's got the buttons and everything. He's got the little pocket up there. Very nice. Everything. Guess you can lift it up. Yep. So he's got a belt. Nice belt. 
goes all the way around. I'll lift his shirt up real quick. Nice go, uh, silver buckle and everything. He's got some nice paint and details over there. Like that. Does have a white swivel. Put his mask back on because he is fugly. But not details on the back and everything. Yeah, like I said, that he got a little ab crunch too, so really good. And in the back too, so very nice. Pull his shirt down. You can go out to there. Almost the van down. Go up a little bit. So the clothes are re restricting him from doing a lot of movements and stuff. So nice double joint for the knees and everything. A little thigh swivel also. And nice, uh, you can rotate the, the, the boot or the feet. Toe tilt down, a little bit up, and he does have a little rocker and everything. Nice detailed boots. I wish they would have put some like mud or something like that or show some dirt. Like I said, he's just too clean. <laughs> so, but yeah, there is Jason Voorhees once again. All right, we'll take a look at his accessories to come with, which he does come with a lot. Love this little stand. Very nice. Got the, this was the part three with the, the 3D one and everything. So that's pretty cool where he's in the shower scene or stabbing somebody and everything. You pop this little thing right here. He does have a hole in his boot whenever so you can stand like that. That's pretty cool. But you can pop this out and you can put this if you want to give him some dynamic poses, which I never really considered Jason being, you know, dynamic, you know, with Posey. He just walks through the woods and everything and catches up to everybody. So I, I won't be using this. Uh, you know, I may take some pictures or something with it. I don't know. But I do love this stand. It's pretty cool. That's a, that's a neat stand. Nothing over there. But, yeah, I like that. So he comes with one other head. And it is very nice it's got the blood it's got the where he got cut with the uh, machete i think he was cut cut with but very nice very nice details right there he's got the ear, smile and everything very nice so yeah nice cut in there i like that and his mask if you put it right over you can line it right up with the where he got cut and everything so basically the same mask just about it's got blood on there and everything so pretty cool pretty cool I like that I like the mask very nice all right moving on we got the pitchfork that's pretty cool it's got some blood stains that are like like somebody just whoosh, 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 like that with the paintbrush so it's got the I'll show you a different. I'm gonna show you the difference between the NECA one and this one too. So I'll show you the difference of the uh, weapons and everything. Here's the machete. Nice blood stains and everything. Not bad on the stains on that one. Looks pretty good. Got some details right there also. Brown and some silver. So very nice. I like that. All right. Up next is his axe. Nice wood grain right there. And some blood also on that. It looks pretty good. Nice silver. I like that. Blood looks pretty you know, pretty good on that one too. Alright. Next is his harpoon gun. Nice brown paint up here and some silver right there. No blood stains on this one. But very nice. Nice paint on there. Very nice. He's got a little his little poker. Nice little white paint and he's got blood on there too. So that's pretty cool. And some nice white paint on the handle. So that's pretty cool. Next up, next up is his cleaver. He's got blood on that. Nice details in brown. He's got silver. Little things right there. Or gold maybe. So very nice. And he's got a little bowie knife and it's got silver and brown right there on the handle. That's nice. And silver paint and red for the... It looks alright. Kind of... Nice 
Let's see, dry it out. Hope y'all can see this. Like I said, I'll show y'all later, you know, closer and everything. Cool. And here's his wrench. Uh, nice red paint, silver and black. So very nicely detailed. Alrighty. And he has two sets of, th four sets of hands. Yeah, or two sets of hands, sorry. Uh, one where he's just like a, he's like grabbing for you kind of thing. You know, I wish they were more weathered, you know, more dirty or something. You know, like I said, he's out in the, in, out in the forest and everything, so, you know. And now he's got the uh, trigger finger, you know, kind of thing going on, I guess, for the harpoon gun. So, once again, nice little details. You can see some veins popping out. That looks really cool. But like I said, I wish he had some dirty fingernails or something, you know, to show that he's been out in the woods and everything. All right, well, we'll look at him one more time. That is Jason Voorhees. All right, there he is with his other head sculpt, mask, whatever. And there, if you place it just right, you can hold the axe in there, so it's pretty cool. And there he is with his grabbing your reach out hand, whatever, and he's holding the axe. That's pretty cool. Holding the poker. Uh, the meat cleaver, a little bowie knife, the wrench, his pitchfork, and his harpoon gun. All right, there's the difference between the head sculpts and the difference between the weapons. There's harpoon guns. The poker, the wrench. Unfortunately, I broke my uh, NECA uh, one for the pitchfork. Really kind of bummed about that. So if anybody has one they don't want, uh, I'll definitely pay for it or shipping and everything. So look me up and uh, yeah. So a little difference in that. It's got blood on that one. Uh, I don't have the axe and the cleaver out. Um, I'll put them in a bag or something somewhere with my other stuff. And uh, there's the difference in the weapon or the machetes. There they are. All right, there they are together. The left one is the NECA, and the right one is the Mesco. And you see, he's a lot bigger. I know it's a different scale. I understand that, but I want you know Jason to be big. And you know he's got all that blood right there. And he just looks like he's been out in the woods for a while. And he got this. It's all clean. Like he just took a shower or something. You know, look at the hands. You know, they're all weathered and everything. Got you know, all that stuff on there. And then, yeah. So, that is the difference between those two. All right, overall thoughts. Uh, first, sorry, uh... He does come with this little bag. I guess you can put all the weapons and stuff in there and label it. So that's pretty cool. Very uh, thoughtful. Um, all right. Overall thoughts on this guy. Eh, I mean, I like the NECA better, to be honest. You know, this one's really small. Um, you know, he's better articulated, but I don't care if Jason articulated. I mean, I don't really need him to be articulated. So, you know, this thing was kind of a waste. I mean, I guess it, you can take some nice pictures or something with it, and which I will, but... You know, as far as using it, it's just going to go back in the box. I do love the stand. It's pretty cool. Uh, the negatives, you know, I wish uh, he was more, you know, had blood or something on, on the clothes, you know, and more weathered, you know, like he was, like he's been out in the woods for a long time. He just looks too clean, you know, nothing on the boots or anything, no dirt or anything like that. And, you know, that's, that's a shame, you know, and I don't, I don't know how I feel about the cloth and everything. I think I like the NECA stuff, you know, with the plastic and everything. Um... And negative, other negative, other than that, I, that's about it. You know, I just wish he was more weathered. His hands, you know, had dirt on his fingernails or something. And more blood, or just some blood on his, you know, pants and stuff or shirt, you know, and that stuff. A uh, positive, you know, like I said, he is articulated. You know, if you like that and everything, I don't really need that for, you know, Jason. 
Um, but the head sculpts are really nice. Um, you know, they're, the masks are really good. You know, it comes with tons of, uh, of um, accessories, you know, and stuff. So that's really cool. But most of them are going to go back in the box anyways. But, you know, it, it is there. You know, I like the, the you know, it does like come with uh, separate hands and stuff. I like that. I wish uh, NECA would add more hands to it and everything. That would have been good. Uh, the other head is really nice. You know, it's got that nice cut and everything. So, you know. But overall, you know, I'm, it's fine. But, you know, the NECA ones are only 30 bucks. You know, and they come with just as many accessories. And I think it's they're better. I really, to be honest, these are really small. I wish he was taller. Man, he's really short. But, you know, I, you know, and they're cheaper. You know, NECA's a lot cheaper than this. This was like 80 bucks. So... I, I don't know. I, I'm, I think I might be leaning towards the NECA stuff. I got the Freddy on pre-order, and that might be it. I don't know if I'm going. I, I've missed out on the Myers, but I don't know if I even want to get that. I got the, the NECA one already. So, uh, yeah, I'm not really that overly impressed, you know, with, with the Mezco stuff. So that's a shame. But anyways, all right, I'm going to get on the floor. I'm going to do some floor time. Won't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. Oh, no, Jason's coming. What? Is, uh, look how t look how tiny he is! Ha 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 ha! You're so tiny, Varhees. Uh, what do you mean? So, oh, that didn't hurt. Come on now, you little puny machete. Come on, Jason. Dirt fire's gonna stomp you. Go, 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 go. All right. I don't know where I was going with that, man. Anyways, yeah. So, you know, I, I, I like him, but I, I like the NECA one better, to be honest. You know, I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the cloth stuff. Know, maybe I'll get the Freddy and I may think different, you know. But he does have a better articulation, but like I said, I don't really care if he has, a, you know, really great articulation. He just needs to do one thing, slashing and dicing and all that good stuff. Slashing prices on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. All right, well, I hope you like this little review. I know I don't do a lot of uh, the uh, NECA and the Mezco stuff, but like I said, this is my first Me uh, Mezco thing, so, you know, hopefully uh, I'll get that Freddy in. I think sometime at the end of the year or something like that. I don't know when he's going to come in, and I'll do a review on that guy. But, uh, yeah, go down here and hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Tell me if you like this video. If you like this review, go down and hit that sub button for me. It helps the channel, and I guess I'll see you on the next uh, Friday the 13th review, and as always, hell, Mezco, and good night, folks. Oh, yeah, my time to shine. Do, 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 do.